We are preparing our team to go get some honey. Yeah, for us. yeah. what is this for? Protect you from the bees? Yeah. All right, you got your protective helmet on? <laughs> Everybody's getting their protective gear on. <laughs> That's for the rain. <laughs> He's ready for the typhoon to come. <laughs> All right, so we got about what? 10 of us today? Yeah, 10. We have a whole basketball crew. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, <laughs> wow. Two backups. We have two basketball teams and one backup each. So hopefully you find a lot of honey to feed us all. Honestly, this is one of my favorite things. I'm excited. You excited? Yeah. Yeah, this is exciting, dude. <laughs> Just because last time, I mean, Mook's not here this time. Yeah. But um, we're going to try without him this time. Yeah. But you just don't know what's gonna happen. That's what makes this exciting. He actually yeah, tried to climb this yesterday. Yeah, he so did. He tried to get the honey yesterday, and what happened? <laughs> <laughs> he got stung more than twenty. He got stung more than twenty times. And look at his chest. Look at that. Wow. But they tried to surprise us. They were trying to surprise us with the honey, right? Yeah. So they're trying to do a nice thing, but they end up getting uh, stung. Who's climbing today? Um, hopefully, this. One of the team who volunteers. <laughs> who volunteers? Yeah. So we have not discussed who's going to climb the tree yet. Last time, the person who tried to climb it got stung 20 something times. So I don't think anybody's going to be jumping to uh, volunteer today. Your hair. Yeah, you like it? Huh? <laughs> Everybody likes my hair now. You thought I put coming. He's always prepared, man. Yeah, I got my hair now when I used to work in the cafeteria. Oh, look. No t-shirt. <laughs> You're gonna get stung, man. I'm a strong man. Yeah, but what if, what if the bees come? They said he's a strong man. Like his father. Yeah. Amuk is his father, so maybe if he gets stung, he'll be fine the next day, too. We're still trying to decide who's gonna climb, and so far, no one has volunteered to climb. All uh, right, here's the first glimpse of it. I can't really see it, but they said it's right in that dry area of that tree. Where's your protection, man? No protection because I'm strong. <laughs> yeah, there's two there. Two there and the one there, in the middle. Oh, there's a big one there. Yeah. And then two over there. Up, up. So we're at the base of the tree. You can see where they started the fire from the last time. And you can see it's actually a pretty high tree. The two are over there, and the one bigger one's over there. We're preparing for the fire. We got some old coconuts. He's up there. He just fell from up there down to here. Oh, his foot is bleeding pretty bad. So Roldan over there and Raymond are the two that are going to climb the tree. Be safe, man. As the smoke rose from the fire, all the bees started to scatter and now we can see the honeycombs the yellow part that's where the honey is so we know there's honey Ram is right there he's gonna start climbing raven Go slow, man. That's too slick, bro. This time Roland is gonna try. He's not even halfway. It's hard to tell how high he is, but he's not even halfway. The honeycombs are way up there. 
Uh, he's about 10 feet away, 10 or 15 feet away. The bees are still pretty active up there. Raymond's connecting the bucket with the branch and they're going to bring it up and they're going to start to burn so they have something closer up to the honeycomb. You can see it's not easy to climb. Every foot he goes up, he slides down a half a foot. So we had the third backup. Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. He looks like Spider-Man. That's amazing. The bucket keeps getting stuck in the vines, so they need someone else to bring it up the rest of the way. As you can see, getting honey in the jungle like this is not easy. All right, he's lighting the fire now. You can see it up there. This is just crazy. There's no safety nets. He has no rope connected to him. If he falls, he could be seriously hurt or killed. He's right next to the honeycomb right now. Francis, where's your long sleeves? I, I forgot. Oh, he's starting to cut it. Here it comes. Oh, it's right there. It's stuck in the tree. Huh? Ooh, you got a big piece there. How's it taste? So sweet. <laughs> Some fell in the fire they're getting right now. They're getting the piece right now that got stuck in that tree. <laughs> nice catch, Raymond! <laughs> Dustin, job well done. Job well done. Good job. <laughs> job well done. They run done. It's crispy. <laughs> A huge hunk fell on the fire right in the middle of the flame. <laughs> it smells like burnt honey. Success! Drink! 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 Ah, nice! <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> Money Dundun, he fell yeah. from like probably seven feet and landed on that jagged rocks. Yeah. And then luckily, Raymond and I were out there to kind of catch him a little bit, but he hit the ground hard. Thank God no one got seriously hurt. It's too bad about his feet, but it could have been a lot worse. The way he fell, like I was standing right here and he was falling right on me. And luckily, Raymond and I kind of caught him before it hit the ground too hard. But you could see the damage on his feet. He was bleeding pretty bad. <laughs> that was awesome, man. It's that was so high. Drink, drink. <laughs> I will. Don't drink. 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 It's a little burnt because it fell in the fire. But it's good. Good? <laughs> There's a bee in there. Yeah. 
It still is sweet. It's really good. Still there. Mm -hmm. Still very good. Cheers. Mm. Ah, that's really good. I think the best way to get it all is just stick it all in your mouth. It's all that came in. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, sushi roll. Hmm? I'm going to go to the lamp. 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 I'm going